Welcome to Radiance Schools. It's a music lesson prepared by Tisha Nemaya Matrere. Term 2, Lesson 1. Digital Learning in Progress. Have you been in a digital class before? How was it? Did you enjoy the presentations? Were they helpful in attaining the best knowledge required for you? Welcome again to another music lesson. We are going to learn about Kenyan folk song. What is a Kenyan folk song? Do you remember what we discussed in the previous grades? Four, five, and six? If you recall, in grade four, folk songs are songs performed by people of the same community. Folk song is a song in the language of the people of that community. We learn folk songs from grandparents, our parents, and other community members. Folk songs are sung by people of a particular community. In grade five, folk song are traditional songs performed during different occasions. What else did you discuss in grade five? Hope you will tell me later. Okay. Back to grade six, folk songs. These are traditional songs performed by different occasions by different communities. They are performed by common people of a religion in a local language. Folk songs are passed down from generations to generations. How are folk songs grouped? What are the features of each type of a folk song? Are folk songs conveying a message to us? How can we identify the message in a folk song. What is diction in a folk song? What is a solo folk song? And how is it performed? Well, types of Kenyan folk song. We have naming folk song, work folk song, worship folk song, funeral folk song, marriage folk song, initiation folk song. Those are the common types of Kenyan folk songs. Now, let's begin from a naming folk song. These are songs that are performed to celebrate the birth of a child. 
they welcome a new member of a family and a society at large. They are performed as a way of thanksgiving to God for a new life. They educate parents on how to take care of the newborn. Worship folk songs. They are performed during religious ceremonies in different places of worship. They are used to educate the believers about God. They praise God. They entertain the worshippers. They encourage and give hope to worshippers. For example, we have Mo yo wangu si liete nam. Mo yo wangu si babaike. Kanyambia ewe mwanangu. That's an example of a worship folk song. Marriage folk songs. They are performed during marriage ceremony. They are sung to praise the bride and the groom. They educate the newly married couples of values of marriage, such as love, faithfulness, and hard work. They are sung to entertain people during marriage ceremonies. In she, in she, sh, in sh, in Zation folk songs. They are sung during transition from one stage of life to the next. They educate the initiates on the morals, values they are expected to uphold. They promote good behaviors among the young people or the initiates. They encourage initiates to be brave. They entertain the people during the initiation ceremonies. Work, work folk songs. They, they are songs performed when people are doing different types of work, such as farming, grazing, cattle, building, farming, and others. They encourage and motivate workers. They also entertain the workers. Funeral folk songs. They are sung when mourning the dead of loved one. They help people to come together and celebrate the life of the dead. They console the deceased. They help people heal from the pain of losing a loved one. For example, 
Ameenda, ameenda. Now, we want to look at the features of folk songs. All folk songs have the same features. They are mood, climax, structure, focal ornamentation. Mood, climax, structure, focal ornamentation. Let's begin with mood. Mood can be expressed by singing loudly or softly, ululating, ululating, changing the tempo, dancing, playing the music instrument appropriately. Climax. Climax. Some of, some of the Kenyan folk songs have climax. Climax can be built by loud singing, fast tempo, vigorous dancing, loud playing of the musical instruments. That's how you can define climax. We have structure. Kenyan folk song follow a given structure du during performance. One of the common structure is solo response. In this structure, the soloist starts the performance, then the chorus responds. Chorus can respond by either repeating the exact phrase and the tune a song by the soloist or by using different word altogether. Another structure of Kenyan folk song involves whole group singing the beginning to the end. There is no soloist. In most of the folk Kenyan folk songs, we usually have a soloist solo response. Unlike the minor of the Kenyan folk songs, they have a solo and the chora response. The last one is focal ornamentation. Focal ornamentation. Some of the communities use certain focal styles to decorate a focal song performance. These include whistling, ululation. Ululation involves using the voice to produce sounds like to show joy. This is called vocal ornamentation. What should be noted when performing a folk song? When you are performing a folk song, instrumental accompaniments used in the folk song. Instrumental accompaniment used in the folk song. The mood of the focal song. If it's an happy mood, 
you should show your face facial expression in a happy way if it's a sad song if it's a barrio or a, a barrio song you should be in the sad mood the body movement used when performing the folk song for example when singing a worship song you should move statematically or appropriately or relevant to that song the climax in the folk song when you are winding up the song or starting up uh, winding up the song you should show the qualities of the climax so as to mark the climax in the folk song that you are presenting the climax can come in the middle or in the end of the folk song. Messages in folk songs. Folk songs contain messages. Yes, they do. They educate and give us information they identify the message to identify the message in folk songs you should understand the words used in the message in it to get the message some songs carry messages in the body decoration and actions performed during the singing. Now, let's look at the solo folk songs. They are performed by one person. A solo folk song can be accompanied by dancing, musical instruments the performer can also wear appropriate costumes decorating is or her body with adornments and ornaments find the difference between adornments and ornaments Diction, facial expression, and gestures in folk song. What is diction? Diction refers to when singing proper pronunciation of words. To get proper diction, you should pay attention to the vowel sound and the consonant in the words. Pronounce the endings of the words in the folk songs. Have a good breath, control, dry during singing importance of folk songs from diverse what are the importance of the folk songs we have different importances or we can classify the importance of folk songs in three groups economic, social, in economic we have, it helps, it's a source of employment. To the performers, it uh, helps them to uh, 
it helps them to as a, it helps it supports them to improve their living standards by so there it's a source of employment that's increasing their living standards it's also a source a tourist attraction tourists get attracted to different cultures and different songs as they are presented thus attracts more tourists in social importance it helps in cultural preservation wow i think we have learned enough for today task are you ready for the task what performers were while performing are called what values can we learn from folk songs the word folk means you can pause the video and discuss with your friends thank you so much how has been the lesson did you enjoy the lesson welcome again for the next lesson our next lesson we shall be discussing about kenyan indigenous musical instruments Thank you. See you next time.